can't do it together, and they ain't breaking my word. I just wish that I could fly like a bird, get away from this earth. Had to pray and pray, I felt I was cursed. Always tell myself it could have been worse. Never going back, I broke the reverse. It come from my soul, no need to rehearse. A lot of time I was in need of work. Talk to God like I need this to work. Jumped in line like I needed it first. But I was being selfish. You know this don't affect a lot of people. I was being careless. Took a break and stepped away. I'm coming back when I get ready. I know this breaks people into pieces, but I ain't gonna let it. Yo, Blaze, you crazy for this one. Hey, all the champions out there feel so good. Hey, I said it feels so good. We will, we will, we will. We will. At any given time, I'm holding my aces. I see disappointment all in their faces. The turtles still cross the finish line. We done break the bar so many times. It's only right they give me mine. Diamond by myself together, we really shine. Long as I keep putting my faith and trust in God, I know that everything will be fine. Built for it, real stand up. God ain't never breaking my kind. I believe I can do anything, ain't never changing my mind. Life's all about patience, take it one day at a time. Life's all about patience, take it one day at a time. Just 
Hello, everybody. I want to welcome everybody to the Cleveland Cliffs entry point here in our brand new atrium of Rocket Mortgage Field House. And I am just here. This is sort of a false alarm for many of you. We're not starting quite yet. But I want to welcome everybody, ask everybody to get situated. We're going to start in a couple of minutes. In the meantime, if everybody could do us one simple favor, favor and check your cell phones and make sure they're on silent. Astro, no. That would help us greatly. And we will get started. The first thing that will happen is a brief video. What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Hey, what you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb, you can call that mental freeze. When these people talk too much, put that in slow motion. Yeah, I feel like an astronaut in the ocean. Astro, Namiko, she kind of basic. One of my numbers, send her back to the matrix. Red pill, blue pill, what am I taking? LAX on the beat, we stretching the POD. Let me loose my neck, I'm a G-O-D, better know I'm the best, no D-O-G, gonna teach me I'm a vet. See, I'm the one like Neo, deep in the field, hey. pull a slime round, yellow sleep at the wheel. Where? Who be the tightest, who be the titan? Land of Troy, yeah, my gift gonna enlighten. War of the Giants, David Goliath. Who gonna test me, who gonna try it? Who gonna put their feet in the fire? This my rebellion, this my right.
down. I popped the blast and it went in. Ow! Deals to market it. He fired. He Hi everyone, my name is John Michael. I'm the television play-by-play -play broadcaster for the Cleveland Cavaliers and it is my honor and pleasure to be the host for this special announcement today to celebrate a partnership evolution rooted in innovation as well as a love for Cleveland and the Great Lakes region. Welcome to everyone in attendance today, including Cleveland Cliffs and Cavaliers employees, team members and distinguished guests. We also are happy to have Cavs head coach J.B. Bickerstaff President of Basketball Ops Kobe Altman here today, as well as Cavs All-Star Guard Darius Garland, who went for a sparkling 25 points and 12 assists in a win just last night over the Magic. To start off our presentation here this afternoon, please welcome Cleveland Cavaliers and Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse CEO, it is Len Komorowski. Thanks, John. What a great day. What a great day, sunny day in Cleveland. Well, first of all, uh, we want to thank you for being here to help us celebrate one of our long-standing partners in a Cleveland institution, Cleveland Cliffs. They've been headquartered here in Cleveland and operating in the Great Lakes region since 1847, making it one of the oldest companies operating in the city of Cleveland. And, uh, you know, off, off to your left, if you look over there, we have the Wall of Honor. This past weekend, we had a chance to celebrate new inductees. A couple of them, a couple of key inductees, were credited with helping save the Cavaliers, if you recall back in time. And uh, there's a man here, Lorenzo Gonzalez, who saw the same in Cliffs. Cliffs was a struggling entity in danger, if you want to say, in terms of being a going concern, and uh, came, came up to save Cleveland Cliffs, and not only save it, but turn it into a vibrant, thriving, growing entity that really lifts Cleveland around the world. And, uh, and that's another remarkable story that's, uh, <laughs> that's part of all this in terms of you look at, look at the, some of the similarities in terms of our respective histories. The other part of it as well, uh, Dan, our chairman, Dan Gilbert, has an ism. Uh, you'll, you'll see it when you believe it. We had a chance to sit with Lorenzo and his team, uh, when we talked about the transformation, if you recall, this building and what it was had good bones, uh, but it was in need of a transformation. And sat down with Lorenzo and his team just to, to talk about that, because at that point, it was sketches on a paper. It was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, exciting elements of it, but had yet to be done. And he was so compelled by that, he said, we have to be part of it. We have to have our name on it. And that's where we are right now, at the Cleveland Cliffs entrance here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. It's incredible. It's dramatic. It's something that people experience both inside and outside of the Fieldhouse. And uh, like we said, Lorenzo is one of the first people we sat down with, had to put the imprint of Cliffs right here as well. And, you know, the, uh, well, <laughs> they've played a huge role in terms of our history and been part of everything we're talking about here with the transformation you know, Cliffs has been undergoing a transformation of its own, like we spoke of, and really helping lift Cleveland from a worldwide basis. And we've seen the growth of, of Cliffs. You know, Lorenzo planted that, that headquarters right, that flag, right in Public Square, half a mile away from here as well, and has continued to grow and diversify the, the business, now becoming the largest flat world, world steel producer in North America was a thought bubble at one point in time, didn't exist, and now has grown uh, exponentially about that. And that's another part of it as well, the shared values we have with Cliffs taking through their products, the Cleveland Cliffs name worldwide. And uh, here you have two great brands, two great entities, Cleveland-based entities, basically taking the flag of Cleveland worldwide and, and showing that proudly. 
which really brings us here to today. We have, uh, you know, have gone through quite a bit together. We share, both share an immense hometown pride. Uh, and now our relationship is ready to take another step, another level up, and uh, be able to take that badge on a worldwide basis. So with that being said, I'd like to have a show a brief announcement through the video here, and we'll continue with our program. Working hard. It doesn't require an audience. It only needs to be recognized by those who live it. Greatness seeks out greatness. Just as steel strengthens steel. We charge ahead into our adversities. To be better. This is how the best of us are built. We take pride in that call to perform. We don't just do it for ourselves. We do it for the team, for the community, with determination and purpose. That's what legacies are made of. That's what we do. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Nick Barlow. I'm the president of business operations here for the Cleveland Cavaliers and Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Welcome to the Cleveland Cliffs entrance. We couldn't be more excited today to unveil to you Cleveland Cliffs as the next Jersey Patch partner for your Cleveland Cavaliers starting next season right here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Before we continue with the program, I do just want to take a quick second and to thank both of the teams. You know, iconic partnerships, they take incredible relationships. And whether it's the Cliffs Senior Executive Leadership Team that's been engaged in this since day one, Lorenzo himself, who will be up here in a second, or our team members who are gathered here today and show of support for how much this partnership means to us, we want to tip our cap to each of you because without the spirit, the energy, the work that goes into these things, Great things do not happen without great minds coming together to form this type of partnership. And so thank you to each of you for everything you do. Round of applause for them, please. Look, we all know hard work. It's a part of our DNA here in Northeast Ohio. And whether it's Darius, as you saw up here, achieving the heights that he's achieved this year on the court and all the work that's led into that over the years, or whether it's the steel workers that check in and clock clock in every single day to make an incredible product that ultimately really is what, what drives this great country and this great region. Hard work is a common denominator and a thread that's woven between all of us. We cannot wait for that thread to be woven onto that Cavaliers jersey as we get ready for next season. Looking forward, and I just want to say and repeat, you know, John Michael mentioned this, but thank you to our head coach, J.B. Bickerstaff, our president of basketball operations, Kobe Altman, and our all-star point guard, Darius Garland, for being here. And I want to highlight and accentuate one thing about Darius, which is incredibly unique and I think is so important and, and, and a massive part of this partnership, which is Darius and his family hail from Gary, Indiana, which ultimately Cleveland Cliffs have two of their more renowned steelmaking operations headquartered right in Gary, Indiana. And as a matter of fact, Darius' grandparents worked within the steel industry and so this has got an incredible opportunity for us to once again take the DNA of a great Cleveland pillar and the Cleveland Cliffs and weave it within our, our organization here at the Cleveland Cavaliers. And we just couldn't be more thankful and grateful to have Darius and his family here today to help us coronate this incredible moment. So thank you all for being here. I, I will say this. These... Partnerships, these organizations, Len mentioned this earlier, 
We've been on a journey. We've been on a transformation together, albeit maybe in parallel paths, in different industries, and in different ways. But what weaves us together is the partnership we formed as we went through this transformation, and now the partnership that we'll proudly display right on our Cavaliers uniforms, night in and night out, starting next season. That partnership and that transformation has been seen, as Len mentioned as well earlier, through the strategic acquisition and growth that the Cliffs has gone through since Lorenzo took over in 2014. And I just will say, if you follow the stock price at all, you've noticed they've been up to some things down the street. And it's an incredible point of pride for us as they look at where they're headed and what they're doing to reestablish Cleveland and Northeast Ohio as a place where you can live, work, play, do business, and do things that really bring the world to the Midwest, which is ultimately a calling card of both of us. And so we couldn't be more proud to continue to be your partners as we look at this and as we go forward. Um, last year alone, Cleveland Cliffs received eight awards for accolades and achievements that they were able to achieve within the U.S. steel industry. And I bring that up because the man that I want to bring up to the stage next is the leader of Cleveland Cliffs. He's the president, he's the chairman, he's a chief executive officer, he's a close dear friend, and he's a phenomenal fan of Cavaliers basketball. In 2021, Lorenzo was named, and I got to get this right because I don't want to get yelled at afterwards, but in 2021, he was named the CEO slash chairperson of the year, recognized by the Global Medals Awards Program, which is seen as one of the highest accolades you can receive within the steel industry. And so, without further ado, I'd like to welcome up Lorenzo Gonsalves, Chairman, CEO, and President of Cleveland Cliffs. Good afternoon, everyone. What a pleasure to have you guys here. What a pleasure having my employees, the representatives of the 26,000 people that make Cleveland Cliffs here with me. So if you work for Cleveland Cliffs, can you please stand? Please, have a seat. Thank you. You saw that these folks, they wear a, a, a blue shirt uh, that you, you can see Cliffs and you can see USW, the United Steel Workers, the union. I love middle class. I love democracy. I love being able to create the means for people to have a decent life, to be able to take care of their families, to be able to take care of their peers. And that's what the steel business and the union is about. We are about building lives here in the Midwest. We are not coming from behind. We're actually rescuing a past that should have never been forgotten. We are bringing back the Midwest and manufacturing to America. We are fighting against a, a, a wave that was imposed on us of globalization that has only one type of victim, people like us here in the Midwest. We are bringing this back, and we are bringing this back together as a team. That's the concept that I see very present in the Cleveland Cavaliers. I started believing the Cavaliers when nobody was believing in the Cavaliers. I was, Len was, Nick was. J.B. Bickerstaff was, Kobe Altman was. We we're building that. They were building that. I was cheering. And I'm a proud fan of the Cavaliers, the same way I'm a proud leader of Cleveland Cliffs. Being with you guys is my life. And I believe that Cleveland and the Midwest one day will look back and you'll see not only the resurgence of a superpower in Cleveland Cliffs, we are building the best steel company in the world. We are already being recognized like that. We are going to have built here a team that will be a multi-champion in the NBA. And uh, a long journey starts with the first steps. Darius Garland came from Gary, Indiana, and I promised that Winston, his dad, and uh, his grandfather would never imagine that one day Darius Garland would be a superstar, uh, an NBA all-star, and he's just starting. Well, I was a poor boy in a poor country in Brazil. I would never imagine that one day 
I would be here in the United States, let alone leading one of the most important iconic companies in this country. I would not know that would be, we, as Cleveland Cliffs, would be leading the resurgence of manufacturing and uh, leading the deglobalization effort that's going on right now for the benefit of the United States of America. But God knows better, and here I am, can't do anything alone. I'm a guy with very little talent, but we can put people together, talented people to work together. That's what you do, JB, keep doing. That's what you built, Kobe, please keep building. We are behind you, we are together, we are a team, we are Cleveland, thank you very much. Terrific job, Lorenzo. With that, allow me to introduce you to the Cavaliers President of Basketball Operations and, by the way, one of the front runners for NBA Executive of the Year. It is Kobe Allman. So this is a, an incredible, incredible day. Congratulations, Lorenzo, um, and, and the whole Cleveland Cliffs team that's behind us. Um, you guys are inspirational to us as we take the floor and build this team. Um, but I, I kind of, I, I had some stuff written down, but I wanted to go off script because the Reds have said something that's true. It's true. This deal wasn't struck over All-Star Weekend when it was rosy and we had two All-Stars and a Coach of the Year candidate and the, the world was watching Cleveland in this positive light. Uh, this deal was struck in the off-season. And, and I remember it really, really well. We were at Marble Room uh, with Lorenzo and his wonderful executive team. Nick was there, Lem was there, was Shelly Kayette was there, Coach Bickerstaff was there. We even brought in Anderson Verge out. You know, we called in the troops. This was a shock and awe effect, right, on this pitch. Um, and I was talking to, to Darius yesterday. I said, what does plus 20 mean to you? And he said, what do you mean? 20 more wins than last year, right? So we're 42 wins. But when the Cliffs believed in us, we had 22 wins. But they believed in what we were building. They believed in Northeast Ohio, Cleveland, the Great Lakes region. Um, and they were behind us. And they said, we're going to invest in this. We love this partnership. It didn't take them 24 hours to say we're in. We want to be on that jersey. We, we support you guys. We're about the same sort of thing. So I, I do want to give Lorenzo credit for believing in this, in this organization uh, well before you know, the bandwagon started. And we love the bandwagon. There's plenty of room under the tent, you know, to come and be a Cavs fan right now. Uh, but, but he believed in us, and so uh, really, really, really appreciate that. So big hand, big, big hand for you for that. <clears throat> so we, we talk about the, the steel workers um, sort of being the fabric of, and the backbone of, of, our, of our country. Um, but really now, in terms of technology, innovation, what we're trying to build, uh, cars, bridges, skyscrapers, this building. Um, it, it's incredible now to be able to partner with you guys um, and see the future. Um, and I think it's really important that we have, like Nick said, Darius and his family here. Um, and it wasn't just his, his grandparents that were in the, the, the steel industry. Actually, his uncle just retired like a few weeks ago from, from the uh, steel industry in Indiana as well. So there's some real ties there. And, you know, I, I know Darius doesn't get excited a lot, but I saw a small smile when he saw him matched up with that steel worker. Like, that's meaningful. You know, that, that's, I think Darius takes some real pride in that because um, he's a hard worker, man, and he comes from that, that fabric, and his family's wonderful. So I love that, I love that tie um, for us. But, again, listen, just really thankful for this partnership. Um, and we can't wait to rock that, that jersey with the, with, with the cliffs on it. Um, we talk about all the time, Cleveland to the world, right? Cleveland to the world. And that's what we're doing as a partnership, Cleveland Cliffs, Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, and we got a lot of exciting times and fun basketball ahead. Um, and thank you for believing in us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Kobe. Lorenzo, Nick and Len, Kobe, as well as Darius and Coach Bickerstaff, if we could all come to center stage here for a photo to commemorate this terrific announcement.
for our media friends, our speakers in today's announcement will be available for one-on-one -on -one interview opportunities. And we're going to take a couple more pictures b before we do that. So once again, for our media friends, our speakers will be available for one-on-one -on -one interview opportunities. That concludes our program today on behalf of the entire Cavs and Cliffs family. Thank you so much for being here to share in this very special announcement. Have a great rest of your day.